What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it is me, Blonty. I'm here taking over for Monty again because we have a brand new trailer of Barbie to look at. And joining me as always is someone who looks less good in pink than I do, Nikki. Nikki, are you ready for this Barbie trailer? In spite of that very untrue statement, yes, I am ready. I love that effect with her feet that they did before. Hey, boy. Yes. Can I come to your house tonight? <laughs> sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. <laughs> that actually would be very cool. Diamonds under my eyes. Would be very cool. It's the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. <laughs> Oh, oh God. <laughs> what? When my heart breaks. Some things have been happening that might be related. When my world shakes. Cold shower Ooh. falling off my roof. <laughs> and my heels are on the ground. <gasps> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Barbies can wear do? other shoes. You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about God. the universe. It's like red pill, blue pill. It's now yours. I love that to Birkenstock. Hyo, you have to want to know. Okay, do it again. Closer I am, I'm coming with you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, all the costumes look so world. good. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. <laughs> <laughs> Catastrophic! We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. Mm. No one rests <laughs> until this doll Good marketing. is back in a box. <laughs> the doll is back in the box. Humans only have one ending. Get that Barbie! <laughs> Ideas live forever. No, I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. <laughs> Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. <laughs> doctor. Somebody get security. Oh, what? God. It's Bobby yeah. if you're still in doubt. All right. All right. right. Thank goodness. That was the only thing that we needed to know. And we are getting a version of the Barbie song yes. in this movie. All right. Uh, Ken's a bit of a misogynist. Just a little bit. Yeah. I think that's going to be an overarching theme of the movie. Yes. Uh, misogyny. Uh, it looks like Will Ferrell, a.k.a. not president business um, in this movie, is somehow running a sort of shady organization that knows the Barbies exist in a the, parallel world. That's my biggest question so far is the fact that here's this, as far as we can see in the trailer, this totally normal looking human adult woman and they believe that she mu that she's actually a full like an actual barbie though so that's the one part i'm curious well it seems he knows that because he's like he definitely knows that the barbie world exists yeah the head of mattel i guess he is supposed to be <laughs> with the giant mattel logo in the background <laughs> this might be just as meta as like the matrix resurrection with like the warner brothers uh meaning um but it's it's crazy because this trailer just when I think I figure out what the movie is gonna be, some something happens and I'm like, huh, what are we doing? Because it's like, oh, you have that moment in the trailer where Barbie's like, hey, does anyone else think about dying? Yeah. And death, and she's having like this existential crisis. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's what this movie's gonna be about. And then it's just like, no, you have to learn about living in the real world. And I'm like, oh, okay, so that's what this movie's gonna be about. Well, it was, like, the other thing that's still a bit of a mystery, unless I totally missed it, was she, unlike the others, was, like, slowly kind of becoming more human in a sense. And then it's Kate McKinnon, who, for some reason, is 
even though I believe she's supposed to be another Barbie, is in the know about like real world things. She's like a reject Barbie. Right. Ra- that which would be a very interesting premise. She looks like one that like is a has factory defects all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that like red pill, blue pill, and then Barbie's <laughs> like, oh, I I want the heel. She's like, no, why don't you try that again? <laughs> Take the Birkenstock. <laughs> That's a nice play on that trope. Mm-hmm. Um. Which is funny. But yeah. I think this is going to be a really fun movie. It's almost like... It's almost like they don't want the Barbies to come out. It's almost like... And I hate and I hate to re- to reference this movie because I think it's a terrible movie. But it's almost a similar tonally to Don't Worry Darling in the sense of like the men are holding the women back. Yeah. And it's like Will Ferrell's character. And then I'm assuming the Kens because I'm sure Ken's not going to like the real world. No. When he sees how empowered women have become... Or in modern it, times. And it's just not as sparkly and shiny. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's going to be about, like, the patriarchy trying to hold Barbie Barbie, mm-hmm. and and women back. I mean, in general, I mean, it's right in... They say it very loud and clear in the trailer how they want to keep them in boxes, and that yeah. could be a metaphor in and of itself. So this is going to be a much better version of Don't Worry, Darling, <laughs> where everything actually symbolically makes sense. And it's not just a stupid movie. The only thing that now makes me sad is the fact that Florence Pugh is not going to be in this movie. Is she not in this? Not that I'm aware of. uh, Maybe I might be thinking of something else. I thought she had like a voice in this. Oh, mate. I might be thinking there's so many people in this movie. I just assume that everybody's in this movie. Which would make sense because she was in Little Women. So if hey, maybe she'll be a surprise cameo and Greta Gerwig will surprise us. (sighs) This movie looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. It, it's such a visually stunning, cerebral, like, ugh, I, I'm so excited. I don't mm-hmm. even want to, like, talk too much about it because I don't want to dive into it too much. I want to experience it, like, yeah. in the theater because I just, I like that montage of them driving and then yes. it cuts to, like... All the different play sets and outfits yeah. and the different scenes, like... And that's what makes me so happy is when, like, I saw that this trailer came out, I was like, oh my god, do we need another one? Because I'm already sold on it, and I don't, like, want to see everything. But I think they were very smart with it, because it hinted more at the story, but a lot of it was stuff we were already kind of aware of from the first one. This this definitely, what I would call this a story trailer. Mm-hmm. This, this definitely told you a lot more about the story and a lot more about the movie, and it's not just... This is not just the Barbie movie. Yeah. This is a Barbie movie that's using the idea of Barbie Mm -hmm. and female perfection in a way Mm -hmm. to tell a very interesting story about the real world. And I love when they, first of all, I love meme movies. And then I also love like symbol, heavy symbolism and metaphors. And it looks like this movie is combining like this movie to lack of a better phrase, morbs in terms (laughs) of like the memeiness, like it, 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 does all of those silly fantastical things Mm -hmm. that we want from a movie with the premise that this movie has Mm -hmm. but in a way that excites me and also engages me intellectually yes and i think given greta gerwig's track record that's exactly what her intention is and i think even though we're kind of seeing a lot of the visual achievements that they made with it with miss made with this with the costumes and the set design i do think even from a writing perspective which we're not getting as much yet is going to be very strong yeah but even like the dialogue like i love the dialogue i love uh, this this film must have been a blast to shoot because it seems like all of these actors playing the barbies and the kens are having the time of their lives they're <laughs> chewing scenery they're overacting but <laughs> They're in a way that delivers Mm -hmm. on what the film expects of them. So I'm super excited for this. This is going to be such a wild ride. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's very it almost feels like a spiritual sequel to Josie and the Pussycats, (laughs) which is one of my guilty pleasure movies. Um, So I'm really real, which makes me even more excited to see this. like it's sad that that even has to be considered a guilty pleasure movie since that's a legitimately good movie it was like i tell her when that movie was 15 to 20 years ahead of its time josie and the pussycats so everyone after you watch the barbie movie go back and watch josie and the pussycats because that movie slaps Mm -hmm. um but I, again, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't even want to like attempt to scratch the surface. I, I don't either. And that's always the problem with marketing is I want to have an idea of the movie. I don't want to know the whole movie, though. This this <laughs> screenshot of Ken oh, and that's... His, his mugshot. 
Hold on. I mean, that's just wonderful because we're looking at the mugshot and it doesn't even just say Ken. It's just, it says and Ken. And Ken. Barbie and Ken, uh, which is hilarious because that must be his full name. And uh, Ken. Uh, this is, this movie is going to be hilarious. This movie is going to be amazing. Uh, don't know what else the more there is to say. Go watch this movie because I know we're going to. Nikki, final thoughts on the Barbie trailer. I do appreciate all the p- copious amounts of pink in it. Yes, me too. Pink is a fun color, especially on me. Blonde I'm wonderful. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap it up for us, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. And until next time, stay versed.